Hi, my name is Leonard Chan. Welcome to Chandemic. And we are still, still, in the middle of a global pandemic. And if you follow the news, it's not the best. People are dying. The economy is collapsing. My hair is a disaster. But on the flip side, I'm spending more time with my cats, my wife. I haven't had to do laundry in two months. So in a lot of ways, this pandemic is making my life better. Let's talk about that. Physically. You know how some criminals get super jacked when they're in prison because they have nothing else to do? And flex and shake and bounce and turn. I totally get that now. I'm in the best shape of my life and I didn't have to add anything else to my criminal record. I've been working out a bunch. I haven't gone out to shop so I have no more junk food. I have no more beer. I'm no longer eating meat. Which is a good thing because that's kind of what got us into this pickle in the first place. I've lost a bunch of weight and I'm not going to show you but I have abs. There's like five of them. And yeah, I know it's totally pointless to look good because obviously I'm married. But now I can truly say that I am getting to shape for me. Emotionally. Yeah, this pandemic has killed thousands of people, but it's also killed FOMO, and that's pretty great. I used to be like, man, I should really go to this party, because like, what if Beyonce shows up and I miss it again? That's not gonna happen now. Beyonce is stuck at home along with the rest of us non-essential people. I am finally just as essential as Beyonce. I don't worry anymore about w whether or not I have plans on Saturday night. I know exactly what I'm doing on Saturday night. I know exactly what I'm doing every night. Nothing. And it was everything that I thought it could be. Professionally. Yeah, that sounds a little weird to say because my career is in a shambles and comedy is dead, but this pandemic has allowed me some time to reflect on my decisions. I used to be an environmental engineer. Spent 20 years trying to save the world. And as you can see, I did a bang up job. I don't miss engineering. Not once during the pandemic have I said, oh man, I really miss being able to use quasi-linear hyperbolic equations so I can solve adiabatic and invisid flow problems. I don't know what that means either. But I do desperately miss stand-up comedy, which tells me I made the right career choice. Terrible way to find out. I'm in control, I work for myself, and yeah, live shows probably aren't coming back for a while and I'm gonna starve soon if I don't learn how to PAPER! But I am the captain now, and if this is how comedy ends, I am happy to go down with the ship. Look, there's plenty of bad stuff to focus on. I'm not saying we should ignore it, but if we hold on to the good stuff, then maybe, just maybe, we can come out of this thing better off than we were before. And guys, remember, don't be racist to Asians. Happy Asian Heritage Month, everybody.